So I was asked to do a video of my project and I wish I would have taken more photos through it, but I kind of tinkered, uh, but I really kind of discovered this project was easier than I thought it was going to be. So this is about installing a 50 amp hour um, lithium iron phosphate battery in my uh, Ryobi 480E and super slick. It's very lightweight. I can move it by hand. I'm on wheels too, but I, I can move it around my shop. It's much faster. Um, much more handling. I'd feel like it's driving a go-kart versus a um, golf cart anymore. So I'm just going to show you, try and reverse engineer what I've already done, try and make it as simple as possible because uh, it's easier uh, than it may seem. So um, I'm just going to take off the back and show you my handiwork. <laughs> So these are, um, I forget what you call these, um, hex types, um, uh, threads, but it's, it's standard for all the boats. I took off all the plastic. I don't think you need to do that, uh, for this project. Um, the back, the battery tray is extremely heavy with the, uh, uh original batteries in there. It's going to be a 13 inch, um, a bolt on top. And I believe from my memory serves, I have a 12 on the bottom. I don't know why that is. Let's see, of course, I've got it. Two bolts, two fat washers under here. And when you have the factory ones in there, there is also gonna be a big bolt in the center. And the center is held down by this, and there's also plastic covers on top. None of that has to go back on it, but there's gonna be a center bolt here, which I think is also a 13 millimeter that you're gonna have to take out to get this back. Once the tray is loose, you're gonna have to disconnect uh, one wire here, which is a, a little stubby one, I'll show it here. That's this, uh, I think it's a heat indicator, uh, and that'll be right in the back here, so it, as soon as you move it, it's gonna disconnect itself, but you wanna disconnect this. And uh, you have to take off the bolt. There's a one screw holding on the uh, battery connection here too. So I, I took off the whole top. I'm not gonna do that for purposes of this, but that will allow you to disconnect uh, the main battery tray. Again, this is gonna be very heavy uh, when you have the factory batteries on here. And so I had uh, blocks and wheels and everything like that. Some use uh, car jacks uh, to do that. Um, all the batteries are tied together. It's 10 bolts, 10 millimeter bolts, tying them all together. Uh, pull them all off. Uh, there is a uh, metal uh, tubes in here that were just uh, held down with adhesive tape. You can pry them off and then this becomes a flat tray. These bolts on here, you can loosen, and then these trays expand uh, depending on the size of the batteries that you have in there. I back them off. I put in some um, extra trim boards that I had. Uh, these are just uh, cedar uh, siding strips that I left over uh, from my house. I think you could probably put front and back. You probably don't even need the side ones. Uh, and then you're gonna reuse this cable. So this is really all the wiring that you're gonna uh, do for this. So this is the original harness uh, for the battery uh, that I'm repurposing. So the um, red goes to red on the battery. This was on the red of the original batteries as well. So I'm just reusing this. 
There's one extra red cable on here, and that goes to your Camway battery monitor so that powers the monitor. That goes onto this little block here, um, again, giving it power. And then you're gonna have a series of these cables that tie all of your original four batteries together. Um, and so all I did is I took two black caps and put some black electrical tape around it to uh, note that it was a ground, put that on the battery, hook that up to the battery sensor. Uh, and then the uh, cable going back to the, um, to the device. So B for battery, and then uh, the black going out to the uh, P, I guess, is going back out to the unit. And there's a wiring diagram and instructions with this, but again, this is, this is really pretty easy. Then this um, sensor uh, clips into here, and this cable goes all the way up to the uh, battery monitor, um, which you don't have to have, but I think is uh, highly recommended, and I think it's worth the effort and time putting it in. So blocks here, I have a strap holding it down. It's in there pretty snug. And um, uh, that's really all the wiring there is uh, to do this. Um, pretty, pretty. It, 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 I think it seems more overwhelming uh, than it really is. So I'm gonna hook this back in, push this back. Hook this uh, heat sensor back up. I will uh, bolt that back up when I'm done. Put that cover on. The other thing that you're gonna have to do, and I'll move over here a little bit is uh, put in the center. So this is the factory one that I took out. Um, you have to drill a little bit larger hole to put in here. This is the hardest part of the project is drilling that hole. Um, I did a step uh, drill to do that, but it's pretty violent uh, force to try to make that hole bigger. I ended up using uh, a little bit of a Um, when it gets burrs, it gets really rough, so I used a, a sanding wheel like this on a drill just to smooth it out uh, as it got really kind of coarse. And then went back at it with the uh, step drill to make this hole, I don't know, it's probably a quarter inch larger. And uh, that, that tells me uh, how many amps are left in the battery and how much power it's using, and yeah, it's a pretty good setup. So again, all recommendations from the group that uh, uh, or in. Um, so that has a wire that goes down, you clip them together, you just disconnect the, the gauge wires from the original factory one, taped them off, uh, put your cover back on. I think you got to take off this cover uh, uh, in addition to this one, but you might be able to take off this one. I, I just don't honestly remember right now. Uh, then the last thing, oops, there's my charger, uh, is the charger. So some people have been breaking off these tabs in here uh, to make the um, the uh, smart charger. So this is again, uh, this HTRC smart charger. Um, and it comes with this style uh, plug, which doesn't fit quite in here because of these two tabs. So I guess you can take a, a pliers and break those off. Someone else had suggested that you can just take the wires out of the um, original one and uh, put the, put the uh, Ryobi handle onto the HTRC charger, uh, which is what I ended up doing. I should have taken a photograph as to which fires go, wires go uh, where. Uh, I didn't do that. I would highly recommend that. Uh, but bottom line, there's... I just remembered when I took this apart to replicate it in the new charger, uh, and that's what I did. So whatever wires are here, I put here, and there's only two wires in this HRT. So the third one, is this an empty pin? Which I just had to kind of crimp in place to keep in there. Uh, and so this is the Ryobi handle on the HRT charger, 
or you could take out these uh, these pins. I, I'm not sure which is better, uh, but anyways, uh, this is the way uh, that I did it. Just trying to double check my math here to see if there's anything else that I had to do, but uh, I think that's basically it. Um, the uh, Charger um, works very well. It charges quickly. The gauge works well. And uh, if you're thinking about replacing batteries with uh, lead acid, I would uh, strongly advise against it. I, I think uh, the new Costco version, uh, uh, I, which looks like identical to this uh, same tractor um it looks to me like it has a 50 amp hour battery and they're saying it gets uh, two and a half acres worth of use out of it um that seems about right based on what i've used about it i used it this weekend to haul several trailer loads of uh brush uh this weekend so up and down a hill several times i filled a, a five by ten trailer uh with all of the trailer loads that i pulled with this uh with brush tools and all kinds of stuff uh, going up and down. I only used 5%. Uh, then I went out yesterday and cut my lawn, only used 20 more percent. Uh, it was down to, you know, I don't know what it was, 75% by the time I was done with everything yesterday. I couldn't use my tractor like that when it was brand new. It just didn't have um, the battery capacity like that. So it's just been a significant game changer to me. So anyways, that's my I guess 11 to 12 minute video on this. I hope it's of some help. Good luck to you.